Welcome to this tutorial on electronically submitting a carryover request for a grant through ERA Commons prior approval module. A carryover request is a request to carry forward funds from the end of one budget period to a future budget period. A carryover request can only be initiated and submitted by a signing official, SO. Requests through the prior approval module can only be initiated under the following criteria. The grant does not have expanded authority. The project period has not ended or a no-cost extension request has been submitted by the institution requesting additional time. The grant is not closed out. The grant has not been closed. As part of the process, several key pieces of information will be required to complete the request. Amount of funds to be carried over. Explanation of unobligated balance. Detailed budget scientific justification. Accessing the functionality starts with logging into ERA Commons. Once logged in, SOs need to navigate to the prior approval tab on the top navigation menu. The SO will see an option to initiate a request in the box to the left. The SO will have a box for existing prior approval requests under which the list my requests and search for requests buttons will be available. List My Requests will display any requests that were initiated and are waiting for the SO to complete further processing or waiting for approval so it can be submitted to NIH. SOs can search for any prior approval request through the Search for Request page. If the request has not been submitted to NIH, they can modify and submit the request, and if the request has already been submitted, they can view the history of the request. They can also view the PDF of the request that was submitted to NIH. To initiate a carryover request, the SO will go to the Initiate a Prior Approval Request box. In the field for Request Type, they will select Carryover Request, and then click the Go button. The system will generate a list of eligible grants for carryover. The results are displayed in a table showing the grant number, project title, contact PDPI name, and budget period end date. Because SOs manage all the applications and the grants of their institution, they have two text filter fields at the top of the screen they can use to narrow the results even further. Once the grant is found, the SO will click on the radio button to the far left to select the grant. Once that is done, the Initiate Carryover button becomes active. Clicking the button starts the request. This will open the Prior Approval Request Carryover form. The Application Information section will display the applicant's information like PDPI User ID, Name of PDPI, Grants Management Specialist Details, Program Official Details, the Grant Number, Application Title, Institution Name, Budget Period, and Project Period. In the Request Details section, it will display the Request ID a system-generated ID number. The SO will also have to specify the amount of unobligated funds that are being requested to carry over to a future budget period in the Amount of Funds to be Carried Over field. The next three fields require the SO to upload the following documents. Explanation of Unobligated Balance, Detailed Budget Document, and Science Justification Document. The SO can upload only one PDF document for each of the sections. Each document cannot exceed 5 megabytes in size. If you have questions regarding the details of these documents, please contact the awarding IC. To upload a file, click the Upload button and navigate to the desired document and select the document. When the upload is complete, you will see a green box appear above the Upload button to indicate the successful upload. The name of the file will be displayed below, along with the date it was uploaded. You can review the file by clicking the View button, or remove the file by clicking the Delete button. There are several action buttons at the bottom of the screen. Hitting the Cancel button will bring you back to the prior approval screen, after confirming that you agree to lose any unsaved data. If there is still more work to be done before submitting to the agency, the request can be saved as is by clicking the Save button. You will see a green confirmation message at the top of the screen when the save is complete. The SO can now submit the request to agency by clicking the Submit button. 
When the Submit button is clicked, a confirmation message will appear. Select Yes to submit the request. Once this is done, the list of applications will appear. A green confirmation note at the top reads, Success! Carryover request has been successfully submitted to agency. If the project period end date is less than 90 days, or if the project period end date has passed, users will be asked if they want to submit a no-cost extension request. If the SO wishes to submit one, they will be directed to the NCE page so they can complete and submit the request. From the Search Request screen, the SO can look up the status of the request by searching for the request by using the request ID number or any other of the criteria available. The status of the request will now be submitted to agency. The history of the request can be viewed by clicking on the View History link. When the request is submitted, a PDF document is generated, combining all of the information provided by the SO. The PDF can be viewed by clicking the View PDF link. A notification is sent to the SO, GMS, and PO of the grant when the carryover request is submitted to agency. This concludes the tutorial on electronically submitting a carryover request for a grant through ERA Commons. A number of resources are available to you should you need assistance with this process. Screen help is available by clicking on the question mark on the prior approval screens. If you still have questions about submitting carryover requests electronically, contact the ERA Service Desk. Thanks for watching.